Hello and welcome to this What's How To video where I will be explaining the basics of the What's dashboards. And from the What's Start page, I'm going to go right ahead into the reporting module and load one of my dashboards. The dashboard module is found in the center icon of the left hand menu. By clicking it, I'll get an overview of my public dashboards and my private ones. I can pin down this bar and let's for now select one of these let's do the yield details the content of this dashboard is of less importance for this tutorial it's the concepts i want to explain so this dashboard consists of a range of different widgets and they're all displaying different yield metrics for my production data uh, and i have one yield overview i have a part number yield which shows all the product names and volume and yield for those ones. I have role throughput yield showing every process run for um, the production. And I have a list of stations with individual yields and the same thing for operators. I have a periodic yield widget and I also have a list of the most frequent failures. And in this dashboard, everything is set up with dynamic filtering. That means there is no static filter for any of these widgets. They will all conform to the quick filter in the top right hand corner. So to be able to filter this, uh, currently I'm looking at last seven days of data. And since all these buttons are, uh, are gray, there are no more filters. So I'm looking at the entire production and I can see that last seven days I have 7,000, almost 8,000 units tested. And if I change this to today's data, I will see one day of data and now I can see the old widget change. So now I can see the current day of data and I have 1,106 units. I also can change to three months, six months, 12 months, and I can also configure these uh, settings um, to, to show other date periods if I want. And I also have um, a part number filter. So if I want to narrow the data down to not looking at all the production, but simply uh, assembly, I can select one or more product groups and the uh, dashboard will reload with that product group selected. So now I'm looking at the Power 24 1500 assembly and it consists of uh, a couple of different boards and you can see all the metrics change when I select this one. I can also go ahead and do the same thing with the organizational level. So if I want to see only the Brazil or the China production, I can do that from this list. If I want to specify even more, I can use this custom filter and type in any of these filter parameters or use my stored filters from, uh, from my reporting module. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new dashboard to explain briefly how you can design your own. So clicking new dashboard will open this dialog box where I can give it a name. I can select whether or not it's public. If it's not public, I'm the only one who can see it. If I make it public, others can see it as well. I can also select the auto refresh rate and I'll leave that at one hour. Saving the dashboard will load it and it's blank. And you can see from this grid in the background that we are now in edit mode. We have a widget toolbox, which has two tabs, edit and add. And going into the add tab will show a list of all available widgets. So let's simply click the yield overview. I can use this add widget to the next free space button, or I can drag and drop it into the view. Once it's in the view, I can resize and move it around as I wish. And I can change from the add button to the edit button to add widget settings and widget filters. And as I mentioned, we have a dynamic filtering option. So when the filter states use dashboard filter, the widget will conform to the quick filter in the top right corner. But I can override this and I can say that this widget will always show only data from this assembly. If I do that, I also make sure to add a header for my widget and type in a meaningful title. So, This way, it's easier for anyone to read your data correctly. Once you have added your widgets and 
and um, added your, your filters. You can simply close the widget toolbox to review the dashboard. And now the quick filter will be available and you can see how it plays out by changing the different filter options. Going to the manage menu, I can also set some more parameters. So I can go back here to edit filters more into edit mode. And I can um, go to the settings bar a button, which let me rename, make it public and change the refresh rate. I also have the set quick custom quick dates. So here I can add more dates. So default is 1730. Let's add three months and that will show up a new button here. So I can look at three months of data. I can also set this dashboard as my default dashboard. I can subscribe to it and I can share it with others and I can make a clone out of it to ed edit uh, a different one. So that was what I was going to um, go through for the basic dashboard training. And um, please also watch our other videos on how to build your own yield dashboard or how to set up different uh, widgets using the dynamic yield widgets. Thank you for listening.